Yo, what is up, you guys? It's Nadim, and welcome back to another video. So, today's tutorial it will be about making some fire exhaust in under two minutes. Some of you guys might think, okay, then how can we bake or simulate the fire? We will not be using any simulation or baking. Without further ado, let's get straight to Blender. All right, guys, so here we are at a new Blender file project. Let's just hit A and delete everything. Let's create a plane. So shift A, add a plane. Scale it, that's like big enough to add a car. Now let's see what car I'm going to be using. All right, guys, so for this tutorial, we are going to be using a 2022 Corvette C8. First, go to the edit because we have to install one add-on. Yep. Go to the add-ons and look for images as planes on um, check mark it and save it shift a go to image images as planes now um i will link the this fire texture link in the description so you guys can check it out all right guys so um a couple things let's make this baby bright because fires are bright all right so um for this image so on the shading tab of course um, you can um, just put it on the emission and now it got a little bit more brighter. So if we just um, strength a bit for the emission, put it at 10. Go to object, I meant object, set origin, origin to geometry. All right, nice. Now let's just hit edit. We want, if you guys see this green dot right here, this green active dot, we want it to be like behind the smoke of that green dot. So we can scale, we can um, adjust some smoke effects. It has to be like this. All right, so let's add it to a car exhaust. I mean, why not? Oh yes, yep. We can see some cool fire exhaust, which looks so dang nice. And then make sure to tilt it downwards like this. Maybe raise it up a bit, like here. Now let's duplicate it and do the same thing to the other side. And don't forget to save it. So I'm just gonna save. The fire is not um, parented to the car body, so let's make them parented. Let's select these two, Command J, so we can combine. Yep. And now we can parent it to the car body. So object keep transform. So now the car moves along, you know, with the smoke. Let's go to frame, for example, 35. I hit G and hit X. So it should insert the keyframe between G and S before three frames like 32 and scale the X axis just like this. You guys are gonna see the flames uh, behind the wheel, which is not what we want. So let's make them move forward a bit just like that. And just, you know, keep, um, Scale X, don't scale all the way, just scale it like somewhere here. And let's use this uh, keyframe at frame 32. Duplicate it and put the three frames after the, this one. So this is how it's going to look. Um, exhaust, really simple and really nice. The fire exhaust, it looks so sick. But if we go back, we can still see some lights, you know, from the exhaustive. We don't want that. We, we want like the light to be off and then on once it starts shooting the flames. So go to frame 32. Let's enable emission strength. So insert keyframe. So this should be at zero. And then go to frame 35. And this should be at... Um, like the emission 10, so now it gets way brighter. And then go to frame 38 and put it on zero. So this is how it should look like. Yep, which looks super nice. And yeah, guys, just set up the camera um, animation and yeah, you guys will be done. And make sure to enable the motion blur, which will look a lot helpful when it shoots the flame. You know, just make the floor black so you guys can see more lights from the fire exhaust. And guys, just for the final touches, let's make a render a lot more better. I just added some HDRI. You guys can use any HDRIs. I'm just going to use it from the one from the Blood Blender kit. 
So for the view transformation, let's set it to standard and that will pop up the color even more. All right, guys, I hope that you guys learned something new. Um, I know like you can make it 10 times better just by, you know, viewing like a close up shots, but like a little far shots, then yeah, I would definitely use that tip. Um, but you know, like two minutes, seriously, two minutes, like that's a really quick um, time right there. And it's super handy, super useful. Um, I can make a fire simulation, but that would take way too long, especially making the tutorial like this. But yeah, if, if you guys have like anything to ask me, you can comment or you can um, question me on my Instagram message or you can message me for any cool ideas for making videos or tutorials. But yeah, guys, um, you know, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and yeah, stay tuned for the next tutorial. I might do like, I don't know, I'm thinking about loops or maybe some different camera perspective. Um, perspective but um yeah stay tuned